Hey everyone, John Daly here. I just realized that I haven't done a video in a little bit, so I thought I'd cover a topic, or a word actually, that I like to use quite a bit when, when people ask me a lot about, about health and lifestyle. That's a word called homeostasis. And primarily what that means is what our body is perpetually trying to do to bring itself back into health. And I guess just to give a little background to the word, um, an early, early 20th century physiologist named Walter Cannon, he pretty much talked about how the extracellular fluid in our body, um, th things like lymph fluid, synovial, uh, the blood, what, what, what we're trying to do with those fluids to create a more balanced physiology. So for example, when we eat acidic foods like uh, a lot of dairy or processed dairy, it's very acidic in our body. So what our body will actually do is excrete minerals into the blood to neutralize the acidity to make it uh, more uh, basic. So our blood is a 7.365 on the pH index scale, making it slightly alkaline. So our body is always uh, interacting with, with the surroundings, whether it be the air that we're breathing or the food that we're eating. So homeostasis is a really interesting term. And Walter Kahnen went, went on to describe how in, in all these fluids, um, even in creating hormones, that we're constantly adding these in to better relate as well to the environment. So our body is always adjusting, perpetually adjusting to what is happening. However, I've noticed in our culture, and it's, and it's quite self-evident, that we've fossilized a lot of these ideas, <laughs> much like the, the sit-down toilet that we discussed earlier. And what this is doing is creating a lot of irritability in us. So the other thing that uh, homeostasis, or the other thing that our body's trying to do, is create the, the proper body temperature, which in Fahrenheit is 98.6. So when we can create this temperature, we're always at a more functional state. So when we exercise, that's why our body's trying to cool us down by sweating. And when we're cold, that's why our body tries to bring more of the heat back into the core or in energetics, the, let's say the solar plexus, the area beneath our navel, because we want to keep our core temperature balanced as well as our, our blood pumping at a good rate. So th this word obviously, perhaps I'm expanding it into emotional and mental well-being. However, it's very much understanding what is real for us, what, what uh, we're actually going through, being honest with ourselves, and this can even be relating to people how we are sitting with the feelings that we have with people. Do we feel um, that we're being honest? Do we feel like we're holding regret or shame about things? And these are interesting topics that uh, when we are very real about and honest with ourselves, we're noticing that, or we'll notice that we're putting less, less strain on, on our bodies, on our physiology, and this leads to kind of the next level of healing. So the more we can kind of get out of our way, the more we'll see ourselves have, let's say, higher energy, uh, more joy in our lives, the more we feel like we're expressing creativity. And it's very helpful, obviously, when we can feel like we're expressing and participating and actively creating in the world. The other thing I wanted to talk about, and I guess just in seeing a couple um, other people's YouTube videos, it seems like feigning excitement and, and waving hands like this uh, a lot of people like, so <laughs> I don't know if I could do that with a lot of integrity, however, I'll definitely uh, keep that in mind for, for future episodes. But anyways, um, homeostasis, given that I'm, I'm kind of using it for emotional and, and mental well-being as well, this also creates our, our dynamic nature. When, when we get out of our, the way, so to speak, with processed food, with, with poisonous air, with, let's say, poor relating to people, we notice that we have a, a subtle change inside of us. We, we greater appreciate what is actually being a positive in our lives, and that this brings a lot of gratitude. We may find ourselves uh, more grateful for the foods that we eat, or perhaps the people in our lives, or just the clean air that we have to breathe. And obviously this leads to a, a very grounded nature. And when we are a bit more grounded, you'll notice that having an irritated mind really leads to a lot of tensity, a 
lot of stress, a lot of acid in the joints, which is arthritic pain, as well as less energy, because our energy is always going places. But when you're grateful for what you have, you're kind of in the moment. So, I wish you all the very best and pass on any messages you have. Thank you.